What's going on, fuckers? Have you ever been fired from a job? More than likely, you have. And if not, lucky you. Yeah, I've been, I've been fired from a job before. You're fired. The way I did it, I thought it was kind of fun. It's usually not fun. It's usually a bad thing. I was working at, uh, what was I doing? I was a safety watch down in, uh, where was this, man? Sweeney, Texas, I think. I do believe. I do declare. Down in Sweeney, Texas. So I've been there for, what, maybe three, four weeks? When you go in, they want you to fucking show them your bags and shit. Make sure you're not fucking bringing anything you're not supposed to in. And when you leave, you're supposed to show them your fucking bag. Make sure you're not fucking stealing. But it was fucking in summertime so it was like a hundred and something degrees so i brought two bags with me one bag to keep all my shit in my other bag was a camel bag that i just wore around the plant so that i can drink water and not overheat Whee! so as i'm walking out i forgot to take off that uh, second bag and i had my other backpack in my hand you know i unzipped it made sure they could look in there but i forgot about the one on my back this fucking fat slob looking motherfucker motherfucker look like top flight security of the world we top flight security of the world craig untucked shirt fucking sloppy looking so this top flight looking motherfucker as i'm walking past him he's like hey let me see that other bag trying to get all fucking tough with me i didn't turn around right away i stopped what i was doing i was like this motherfucker just yell at me i walked backwards towards him and then i turned around he said what is that and being the smart ass that i am i said it's a fucking backpack what's it look like and then he said well what's in it and i was like nothing and then he said well let me look in it and i was like go ahead so i turned around and i said go ahead open it he's like i can't do that and i was like well i'm not taking it off so like, let me see your badge and i'm like no nah, fuck that and i ain't showing you my fucking badge and i was like what the fuck for and then he yells out to his partner which she was really nice oh uh, let me see the walkie we gotta call something in and i was like whatever man i said fuck this i started walking away and the lady was like no honey come here so i look in there it's not a big deal so she uh goes ahead and opens that backpack she's like nothing some sunglasses a pen a notepad and, and his wallet and i'm like thank you ma'am she's like you're welcome sweetie and i start walking away he's like hey don't go nowhere i'm like man fuck you i'm fucking leaving long ass fucking 12 hour day 100 degrees out i'm not fucking staying there any longer than i have to be and he starts calling in his boss or whatever and i'm walking towards my truck big old fucking parking lot and the supervisor or whatever finally catches up to me and meets me uh on my truck and it's like what's your name it's gonna be even worse for you if uh if you don't just give me your name now we know what you look like and we have your vehicle description blah 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 and these fucking rental cops won't leave me alone so fine i'm just like all right you know she's blocking my truck i can't even fucking pull out that's what he said i'm like all right here's my fucking badge number here's my name all right and i fuck off and i'm like man fuck i know i'm fired i already planned ahead and packed everything up and put it in my truck because i already knew i was fired there was no doubt in my mind that I wasn't fired. When I went in the next morning, as sure as shit falls in the toilet, they called me out into the office. They were like, you know what this is about? And I was like, yeah, pretty sure. Because that fat bastard. And they were like, yeah. You really are a fat bastard. You know, that hurts my feelings. I tried going on a date, you know. He's had a bunch of complaints on him already, blah, blah, blah. But the way you handled the situation wasn't right and that's not how we want our company to be represented and i was like yeah i know but i can't fucking stand somebody talking to me like i'm a fucking kid so what, what was i supposed to do i'm sure i could have handled it better but you know fuck that fat fuck anyway so they fired him they fired me i don't know man sometimes i feel like yeah i should have uh just kept my mouth shut but then other times i'm just like you know what fuck it what do you guys think i'm pretty sure most of you're gonna say that i handled that the wrong way i know i did but what would you have done in that situation if somebody yelled at you and treated you like a kid now, i don't like being told what to do especially if you're not gonna be nice about it if you would have said hey man can i see that bag my whole demeanor would have been completely different but he didn't he said hey let me see that bag trying to get some bass up in his voice anyways that's all i got y'all niggas fuck off Peace. what is going on here breakfast yeah i'm gonna start higher okay all right fuck y'all put my visor down just in case